Hi, I'm James. And I'm Austin. And this is our quadruped. As our chair. There. there it yeah. is. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're going to go through and explain how uh, this works really quickly by first going over the components. Uh, we've got two servos for each leg. We have a knee joint and a hip joint. And so with four legs and two servos per leg, that makes a total of eight servos. And four of these servos are controlled by a uh, servo controller displayed here. Uh, there's one for each end. This is the front end, this is the back end, yeah. and each of these are in turn controlled by this Arduino here in the middle. This, uh, this, this is our brains of the operation. We programmed this. Uh, the code was really easy. We found it online. <laughs> uh, this is our switch here. You can see it. That's our on and off to for our batteries as well. Um, turns out when we tried to put these batteries on the the quadruped, they were too heavy, so we had to pull them off the board so that it could still walk. All right. So now we're going to explain how it actually moves. So we're going to turn it on here. Now uh, you can notice the red blinking lights, that means it's getting errors. We don't have quite entirely sure why that is, but it, it's the reason why it actually fails to walk now. But as you can see, each leg moves individually, and then they all move backward together. And that's how it walks forward. Um, they each leg moves inward and then outward, so it can reduce friction. And then when they all move forward, that's its actual forward momentum. And so now we will demonstrate it, hopefully walking, <laughs> by on its own, which it probably won't. Yeah, as you can see there, the front uh, legs, the knee joints for the front leg, have lost their power, they don't uh, hold their position anymore, and we think it's because the servos are starting to go bad. <laughs> 